Hi everyone! Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready, friends, to learn something new today with Gabe and Andrea. Well, friends, we are learning how to talk about part-time jobs, and our lesson continues today. We have keywords for all of you, so let's get started by looking at them together. The first one is skill. Skill. Can you help me study? I need better study skills. Order. Order. I gave my order to the server. Now I'm waiting for my food. Important. Important. Take time to rest. That's important. Hours. Hours. Our office hours are eight o'clock to five o'clock. Okay, let's look at these words one more time. The first one is skill. Skill. Order. Order. Important. Important. Hours. Hours. Great job, everyone! Well, an important part of our show is finding out what today's mission is. Yeah, Eddie, you're our very important friend. You always help us with that.、Uh, thank you. Hey, do teachers work many hours? Well,、teachers. yes, they do. Teachers have a hard job. They work a lot. Ah, so they need skills. Yes, yes, they do. And some meerkats also need skills,、oh. mission giving skills. Mission giving skills.、Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Like like today's mission. Yes. Well, here it is. When can Sam work? When can Sam work? We'll find out today. Listen carefully. And once again, we have a special friend joining us as Sam. Let's go. More than silver, all gold. Good singing, Sam. Thanks. We're ready to do the interview now. Great. So, Sam. Why do you want to work at the diner? I like working with people. I'm a people person. So am I. So that's great. What are some of your skills? Oh, I remember things easily, so I won't forget people's orders. That's important. What are some of your skills? Now, that is a great question to ask when you are interviewing someone for a job. That's right. And today we know that Max and Renee are interviewing someone. They're interviewing Sam because Sam wants to work at the diner. So Max asks her. What are some of your skills? Well, let's look at this key word together. It is skill. Skill. If you have a skill, that means it is something that you can do well. If a person asks you, "What are your skills?" you want to share things that you do well. And everyone has different skills, right? Some people have. Musical skills. Some people have math skills. They really like math. Some people have language skills. They can learn a new language easily. There are many different kinds of skills. Now, what is an important skill to have as a server? Well, it's important to remember what people order. That is true. You want to remember their orders. Let's look at that key word: order. Order. Now, your order at a restaurant is what you want to eat. If you say, "I want to eat a hot dog and a drink," then the hot dog and drink are your order. If you are a server and you have a hard time remembering things, then you can say, 
This order is difficult to remember. I should write it down. That's important. Well, friends, let's look at our next keyword. It is important. Important. If something is important, that means you want to remember it. It is very useful. What's important? What's important? Oh, it's important to eat food and to drink water every day. That's true. It's important to practice what you learn every day, right? That's right. Let's talk about your hours, Sam. When can you work? I can work mornings. I go to Chicago almost every afternoon and evening. Really? Why? I sing at different places. I don't make very much money, so. I need another job. Well, we want you to work with us. You do, really? Yes. When can you start? Oh wait, you already did. <laughs> <laughs> well, good news, everybody. Sam got the job. She has started working at the diner, and. She has done well on her interview. Let's look at a key word here that Renee uses. The word is hours. Hours. Your hours are the hours or the time that you work or that you get paid to work. Those are your hours. That's right. You can ask someone, "What are your hours?" That's another way of asking, "When do you work?" or What time do you work? What hours can you come in to work tomorrow? Or if you say, "I have long hours," that means you have a job that is difficult. You work long hours. That's true. You might also go to work and then look at a piece of paper that has everyone's hours written on it. Some people have jobs, and their hours change every week. Well, we see that Sam can work some hours. She can work in the morning. I think that's the answer to our mission. When can Sam work? When can Sam work? Sam can work morning. She can work mornings because she goes to Chicago some afternoons to go and sing. Well, later in the conversation, Renee says, "When can you start?" Oh wait, you already did. This phrase, "Oh wait," is because she just remembered what Sam is doing. That's right. If you forget something, you can say, "Oh wait," and then share what you were thinking. That's right. Well, now it's time for us to go to our calendar phrase for today. Well, hello, friends. It's that time again. It is song time with Gabe and the Black Pearl, and of course, our piano player, Angus. And this month's song is called Space Travel. Space. Do you like to learn about space? Oh, I like to learn about space. That's great. Do you like to sing? I like to sing. Do you like to play games? I do like to play games. Friends, do you remember the rules to this game? Sing and say. How do you play this game? Let's review. Sing and say. When you hear me sing and say, you try to sound the same. When you hear me sing and say, you try to sound the same. Say these words again today. That's how you play the game. Say these words again today. That's how you play the game. <laughs> oh, that was fabulous! <laughs> yes, it was. Now, friends, let's start. The beginning of this song says, "Space is so big,、oh. it is hard to explore." So let's look at this phrase: hard to explore. Ready? Ready. Sing and say. Hard to explore. Hard to explore. Hard to explore. Hard to explore. Oh, I'll sing. I'll sing. Yes, it sounds very good. Did you repeat? Do you know how to sing and say? Do we know what this word "explore" means? What does it mean to explore? Yeah. To explore、What、means to mean? go to a new place that you have never been to before. Do you like exploring? Well, 
I hope you do. Do you like singing? Let's learn another phrase. The phrase is go as far as you can. Ready? Ready. Sing and say. Go as far as you can. 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 Oh, that was so good. That is great. Okay, everybody. That's a great phrase to know. And another good word here is, is the word rocket. Rocket? Uh, Gabe, what's a rocket? A rocket is a kind of transportation. This is something that goes up, up, up oh, into the oh, sky. Oh. It goes very fast. Oh, really? And this is part of our song. The phrase oh. is, let's get a rocket. Are you ready? I'm ready. Sing and say, let's get a rocket. Let's get a rocket. Let's get a rocket. Let's get a rocket. Oh. King Bulldog, I didn't hear you. Okay, let's do it one more time. Rocket. Rocket. Let's get a rocket. Let's get a rocket. Let's get a rocket. Let's get a rocket. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, that that's so good. Great. Yes, it is. Yes. We have learned some new words and phrases here. Now, be careful to listen for these words when you listen to our song time for today. Listen for the words explore, explore, go as far as, as, you, far can, as you can, and this word rocket. Rocket. And now, let's go and listen to our song time. Yeah. Song time. Space is so big, it is hard to explore. Go as far as you can, but still there is more. Space is exciting, there is so much to see. Let's get a rocket. Come go with me. Come go with me. Sun, moon, planets and stars. Some so bright but all very far. Someday I'll travel and go there to see what's on the moon that's smiling on me. There are many planets that we know Round and round the sun they go The sun is so very hot and bright It keeps us warm and gives us light Sun, moon, planets and stars Some so bright but all very far Someday I'll travel and go there to see What's on the moon that's smiling on me Sun, moon, planets and stars Some so bright but all very far Smiling on me, there is so much to see. Let's get a rocket. Come go with me. Come go with me. Conversation replay. Than silver, all gold. Good singing, Sam. Thanks. We're ready to do the interview now. Great. So, Sam, why do you want to work at the diner? I like working with people. I'm a people person. So am I. So that's great. What are some of your skills? I remember things easily, so I won't forget people's orders. That's important. Let's talk about your hours, Sam. When can you work? I can work mornings. I go to Chicago almost every afternoon and evening. Really? Why? I sing at different places. 
I don't make very much money, so I need another job. Well, we want you to work with us. You do? Really? Yes. When can you start? Oh wait, you already did. <laughs> <laughs> Calendar phrase. Gabe, I have something to tell you. Andrea, you always have something to tell me. Well, yes, I want to tell you that I work part time. You work part time? Wait, I work part time. You work part time? Well, not really, but it's today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. Our phrase is I work part time. I work part time. Now, if you have a part time job. You can use our calendar phrase to tell someone about it. I work part time. Well, let's go and look at today's calendar phrase skit. I work part time. I work part time. I am so busy. I have a lot of homework, and I work part time. Yes, you are busy. I work part time too. I work five hours a day. Then you must be very busy too. No, I'm not really busy. I work part time, but I don't have a lot of homework. Do you want some of mine? No thanks. I work part time. I work part time. Are you ready for today's question of the day? Well, I am. Eddie, are you ready? Me too. I'm ready.、Okay. Good news. Good news. Can you share the question with us? I would be glad to share it. Here it is. Are you a people person? Why or why not? Are you a people person? Why or why not? No, I hate people. I'm just kidding. I love people because I like to make people smile and laugh. I think it's fun to be around people. Yes, and it's fun to be around you, Gabe. You are a people person. Friends, thank you so much for joining us today here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can be fun. fun. Goodbye. See you next time. Are you a people merchant? I'm a people merchant.